In this tutorial, I'll show you how to extract hard-coded or permanently banned in subtitles to a video as SRT using video OCR. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. In a previous video, I walked you through how to download and install video OCR. There are a couple of different versions of video OCR, uh, GPU, CPU, CLI and all that. So in that video, we downloaded and installed the CPU version. Now. Because I do have a GPU or a graphics processing unit or a graphics card on my laptop, I can use or leverage the GPU. The GPU is much faster when it comes to extracting hard-coded SRTs from a video file. Now, so uh, I'll just right click, copy link, and I've already downloaded and installed, but I just want to check if there's any virus on this particular file. Just run it via virus.total. Uh, just to check on uh, if there's any virus or uh, malicious files attached to this particular program uh, just in case uh, uh, somebody tries to comment and say it has a virus or something so according to virus total uh, it's clean so it's it's green it's clean and all that so that's okay now I've already downloaded the GPU version and the CPU but for this video I'm using the GPU version and I've already installed it. It's right here. It's about to finish uh, installing. All I need to do is just click on finish to launch. But I do have the video with a band in subtitle. This one. It has hard coded subtitles right here that I want to extract as SRT. So I have video CR, the program, and I have my video with uh, the hard coded or permanently banned in subtitles. So all I need to do is just click on finish to launch video OCR and uh, this is uh, the GPU version and you may not recognize it more or less because everything is identical uh, in both uh, versions but this particular uh, option uh, enable GPU usage uh, is only usable when you have a GPU now uh, let's just look for this particular file it's this particular one and click on open it's going to load up right here uh, we've got the video file and then we've got the output you can decide to save it with a different name but i'll leave it as it is with a file name and the extension of .srt and you uh, you have the option uh, to save as other files but srt is what i'd highly recommend so i'll just click on save and then what subtitle language is your subtitle so if i scroll this is in english so i'll just leave it as it is and uh, there are a ton of languages right here so if you already know what language you're dealing with then please uh, choose uh, appropriately next up uh, you can go to the advanced settings but more or less for just a couple of things here confidence threshold similarity threshold and all these kind of things uh, frames to skip uh, there are some few things that you can do here but i'll leave it as it is and go back to process video and from here we also have another option that you can select. Let's assume instead of your subtitles being at the bottom here, they're up here. You can make it easier for video CR to recognize where your subtitles are by just clicking on this. Uh, just click inside here, left click and hold, and then drag a box to actually uh, uh, select where your subtitles are located. They're right there. So just make your selection right there and let go so it's not a must to do that uh, video CR can recognize where the text is but I'll, I'll just clear it but I just wanted to let you know that this is available you can already see how many frames are there I'll just bring this back to the start and minimize everything else and just leave this particular window open now if you're satisfied with all the settings that you have right there you're ready to extract your subtitles or hard-coded subtitles or permanently bummed in subtitles as SRT. I'll just click on run. And this is a very short file, a 13 second file. Uh, I want to see how long it actually takes on GPU because I know on CPU it's taking a little, uh, a long time. And uh, Timinator, the creator of video CR, uh, kind of mentioned that the CPU version takes a long time. So you can imagine if you have uh, a long file. So it's already done uh, with uh, this for the GPU. And if I go to the folder, here we have an SRT file. It's a brand new file. Just double click on it. And you can see in this tutorial, I'll show you. 
now we need to make some edits here how to use this script it should be the script i contact feature to simulate uh -huh, even when you are and then the camera welcome to the video to this video my name is david and i hope i hope you're well wherever you are around the world not so bad uh not too bad uh looks good uh one thing is as for subtitles you uh they should begin from one not zero uh so either it's a setting maybe in the advanced settings hmm, i'm not sure but i know subtitles should begin from one two three four so i think this is something that probably team editor can work on and uh, just to mention uh, uh i find that uh video subtitle extractor uh, had better accuracy although uh it had more or less uh, the code was not uh, the best it was not clean so i had to kind of pull down some of the videos i did on it uh so this is a good alternative uh it obviously does not capture everything correctly uh like maybe for example if we look at this uh hopefully it would have spaced it out correctly as it is but yeah i think that is what we get but it's it's a step in the right direction uh it's still a new feature as you can see it was first released two weeks ago uh it's a new program hopefully it keeps getting better and better and better uh, as we go especially when it comes to uh maybe splitting the words the way they should be split uh but that is how you can extract hard-coded or permanently banned in subtitles for free using video ocr as srt i hope this video is of value to you thank you so much for watching